What's going on everybody? Going Youper here. Thank you so much for checking me out today. I'm super stoked. My son's birthday was yesterday. Liam, he turned 16. Uh, what a great kid and what a great time. You know, we're very blessed to have the children we have. My mom wished me to have five kids just like me and I have five kids that are just amazing and awesome children from the start. They didn't have to grow into being a good person. They just are good people and I'm super, super grateful and thankful. I'm also grateful and thankful every one of you out there because you all take the time to hit that like button. If you haven't already, please jump down there, hit that like button. It really does make me smile. Ching. And it's a very nice thing to do. And it's free. Don't cost you nothing. All right. So what else is free? You can enter this competition, this game show that I'm going to do on the very last Thursday of this month at 7 p.m. Because every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time, that's 8 o'clock in East Coast and 5 o'clock in the West Coast, I do a live. Yeah. And every now and then, I do a game show live where you can win prizes. And we have a lot of fun. So listen, they're not professional grade, but we still have a lot of fun. It's all the try, you know what I mean? And I'm always trying to make things a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Spend a little bit more time and uh, enjoy this thing. So please, if you want to be a contestant and you want to win something cool, this is the video. You're going to comment down below. But hold off commenting for right now. We're going to talk about some other stuff, and I'll let you know what you have to comment so that I know you want to be entered. Now, if you don't want to win a snake, because, yeah, you can win a snake in this one, it's a good chance, a possibility, somebody could win a snake in this one right here. If you want to win a snake, you can, but if you can't have a snake, it's okay. I still want you to enter because you can win one of my cool shirts. I got some pretty cool shirts. I'm doing all in-house now, not in-house, kind of in-house because I have a company right here local right next to me that's going to do all my shirts so I can say you won. I'll go over there and I can get it printed up right then and send it out to you myself. And I just think it's a lot better deal, a lot better quality than Teespring for sure. Uh, that said, thank you Teespring for all the help and all the things you've done for me for so long. Um, but I need a quality product to put out to people. So I'm going this way now. So you can win a snake or you can win a shirt. Somebody will win something. No worries. Ah, oh, it's going to be so much fun. First thing I got to do though, is I got to get out of these warm clothes cause it's freezing outside and I'm going to be in here for quite a while cause I have to water everybody clean, spot clean everybody. It's just a big old chore. And um, I got a gentleman at my door right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of these clothes and into something a little bit cooler and then we're going to talk about this giveaway and how you can be a participant in this game show so i don't have a lot of time i'm going to do this real quick because there really is somebody at my door one two three all right don't work i'm just going to go change be back in a minute all right much better a lot better clothes for the occasion who am I hanging out with? I'm hanging out with my wobblehead. This is my spinner. He's got the worst wobble I've ever seen on any spider gene snake in my entire life. I've looked for him. I've watched everybody's videos on their wobble heads and their, and their spider genes that have the wobble real bad. And I've never seen one that's even close to as bad as this one ever. Uh, watch Kevin McCurry's video where he's talking about the spider gene and the spider wobble and he's telling you that, uh, well, this is the worst. I, it's, this is about as bad as it gets and he's showing you a snake. This snake a thousand times worse than that. Would you all agree? I mean, trust me, he's not a trained snake. <laughs> this is him all the time. What this thing is, though, is content. This is what I know. This snake eats healthily every single meal. I never feed an inappropriate sized meal. I can't stand people that overfeed their animals. Uh, that might offend some people, but uh, it's the truth. I just don't like it. It's not good for the snake. It's not good for you. Uh, if you want to breed those snakes and have nice healthy snakes, don't overfeed them. It's the worst thing you could possibly do with these snakes. I see it all the time. But this guy, Wicked Bad Wobble, super happy. This is my go-to snake. Whenever I do presentations or I have somebody come to the shop that's definitely afraid of snakes, they usually sit on the other side of the glass at first, but eventually they make their way around to the door and sometimes they even walk in. And when they walk in, they always get to meet this guy right here. And the reason for that is, is because this snake has a tendency to just be chill all the damn time. Again, another sign that he's not suffering from his wobble. So do I think there's a problem with the wobble? No, I do not. I truly do not think there's a problem with the wobble whatsoever. Happy, happy, happy snake. Loves to eat. Um, did miss his meals at first, but then I kind of learned where to hold the meal, kind of to the side of his head instead of right in front of him and never misses, always has the meal. Happy go lucky every single time I take it out. But when I bring the snake out to a person that's new, my wobble head, the one with a so-called issue, this is a snake I know if they grab it by the head or something like that, <clears throat> it's not gonna flinch. And when a snake flinches its head back, it scares the person that's holding it or going to touch it because it thinks it's gonna strike at them. Tell me that's not the issue. Tell me you haven't ran into the issue. Tell me that hasn't scared you a time or two. So 
This snake right here, I know I'll never have that issue. I can sneak attack him and come up and grab him by the head. <laughs> and there's no fast whipping moments. I can sit there and just tickle his chin. And there's no whipping his head back. None of that. That's why he's my go-to snake. So do I think there's a problem with the spider wobble? Not at all. And if you all have ever seen one worse than this, comment down below where you've seen it because I would like to go see it too. Never seen one worse than this. But I love this guy. He's my go-to mascot here. He's on my banner. He always will be beautiful, beautiful snake. So no problem with spider wobble. So if you're worried about getting a snake with a spider gene because it might have the wobble, don't. Just don't. Especially if it's a pet because this guy is just a pet. I don't breed him. And I hang out with him constantly. And you see right there, he flipped his own head. <laughs> he spooked himself on that. But I can't spook him. No matter what I do, I can't get him to whip his head around like that. He just is not one of those snakes. A beautiful, beautiful snake. And I'm very blessed to have him. So Miguel from Always Evolving Pythons, uh, thank you all for making a mistake and shipping me the wrong snake. And thanks to the other person that took the snake I was supposed to get uh, because I'm glad I have him. So there, that's that. All right, now let's get to what you're all actually here for. How can you become a contestant on the Let's Make It Uber deal here at the end of the month, the last Thursday of the month at 9, uh, sorry, 7 p.m.? Come on. <laughs> Doesn't even want to go back in. It's pretty easy, but you're going to have to work a little bit for it. First, you're going to have to like this video, okay? Um, I'm not out trying to gain a million subscribers today by doing snake giveaways and stuff like that, but I am interested in building community because the bigger the community is, the bigger I can be. Understand that I definitely benefit from each and every one of you, and I hope you all benefit from me as well. And here's how one of you is going to benefit from me today. First person you're going to have to go and subscribe to is going to be Kiss Constrictor. The second channel is Martin's Morphs. I want you to go over and subscribe to Martin's Morph. Martin Morphs has 29 subscribers as I checked last, um, and I think that they're just amazing people. They're doing a great giveaway for 500. That's such a long ways away. I know you feel that way, but trust me, you'll get there in no time. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, I really enjoyed the videos that I've seen so far, and I want everybody to go over there and give them a follow and give them a subscribe um, and show them some love. They've definitely been showing up to different lives and involving themselves in the community, and that's exactly what we want. So the two things you have to, three things, sorry, three things you have to do is you have to like this video, you have to subscribe to Kiss Constrictors if you aren't already, and you also have to subscribe to Martin's Morphs. Now, I've never actually talked too much to Martin's Morphs or anything like that, but I did see a video they just uploaded, and I checked it out, and I liked it, and then I went and seen that they had a 500 subscriber giveaway. I checked that video out, and I thought that was great. Um, so please uh, keep making videos. Just keep putting time in. Consistency is the best way to grow a channel. Other than that, I can't give you a ton of information because, see, my channel slowly has trickled on, and uh, I'm probably not the best for that. All I do know is consistency is what works. So... Welcome to the neighborhood, welcome to the community. Um, we all probably are all subscribed to you already, but if we can get you a few more and a little bit closer to your goals, that would make me very happy. So again, recap, if you wanna be a contestant, you have to comment down below, enter me. You also have to go subscribe to those two channels, links are down below, Martin Smores, as well as Kiss Constrictors, and that's it, simple. And then on the live, we will pick a winner and that person will get to play whatever game it is that we play on that day. And again, my next live will be Thursday, tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. That is 5 o'clock on the West Coast and 8 o'clock on the East Coast. And the very last Thursday of this month, live at 7, will be the game show where we pick the winner and get right into the game. Somebody will have a chance to win a snake or a t-shirt, whatever they opt to pick on that. And there will be a couple Zonk prizes in there as well. Melted Jupiter bars? Hmm. That actually worked out as pretty good Zonk prize, I think. <laughs> But it is getting colder, and uh, hopefully they'll make it through shipping this time. I don't know. Anyway, I'd love to see you all there. So please, before you go, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Throw a bell, let you know upload a video. And as always, I love you all. Send me bye.